Hi, this is Tori Wheelt with the Oracle Technology Network. We're here at Java One Latin America talking to members of the Java community. I've got Jim Weaver with me. Hi, Jim. Hi, Tori. Tell me your role in the Java community. Uh, well, I'm a JavaFX geek. I'm trying to push JavaFX forward as a, as a development platform. Excellent. So tell me what your sessions are about here. Well, my session yesterday was about the return of rich client Java. And as you may know, back in 95, we we kind of went to a web-based development experience rather than continuing the client-server experience that we had enjoyed up until 1995. So ever since then, we've kind of degraded into this, uh, trying to shoehorn the web into being an application execution environment mm. and platform. So everybody then had to, to, to shoehorn the web into doing that by writing lots of HTML and JavaScript and XML and and uh, you know Ajax, things like that, and it really made life hard for developers. It's hard to write, hard to maintain, and so with JavaFX coming back, or with JavaFX, and with a lot of the deployment technologies that are available now, uh, rich client Java can now return, and that's what uh, that's what I'm about is is making sure that rich client Java comes back to where developers can kind of restore sanity to application development. Wow, so it sounded like it was really painful. It, it, it is definitely, it's yeah. a bad It's a bad scene, it's really hard. Right. Uh, developers have gotten used to that, kind of like a, it, the old proverbial frog okay. that you put in, in, a, <laughs> in a pan. The water keeps getting warmer. It get, keeps getting warmer, but everybody is used to that. And so when you say, hey, let's go with rich client Java, people aren't really used to that because they're used to web um, environments. but. But really, the, the sane way to do things and the easy way for development is to write your applications in rich client Java. So that's what that's where we need to go, and that's what I'm kind of advocating at this point. Great. So tell me some of the features in Java uh, Java Effects 2.0 that you're that are that you're excited about. Oh, lots of things. Okay. There, there's uh, the scene graph, of course, where um, you have a very powerful scene graph to where every node in the scene whether it be a, a rectangle or a control or a web view in which you're uh, rendering a browser, those are all uh, nodes in the scene graph and you can transform them, give them effects, those kinds of things. So it's a very powerful, flexible kind of scene graph. And there's all sorts of other attributes that are in JavaFX as far as like for, for backend, um, you know, the fact that you can leverage anything in Java uh, to hit the back end, like you know, through JSON or any number of ways, um, there is the web view that I talked about. Uh, there's a lot of the things that that came from JavaFX, the the first version, 1.3, that are um, in JavaFX 2.0. A lot of nice things that make developers' lives easier, like uh, properties and binding, and uh, observable lists, and uh, the the ability to declaratively express a user interface through the builder pattern, just on and on. So lots of exciting things about JavaFX 2.0 that makes developers' lives easier. Great, so if I've you know shied away from JavaFX and I'm ready to take a look at it again, where would you suggest somebody start? Well, the, the natural place to start would be at javafx.com. Mm -hmm. Obviously there's my blog, which is javafxpert.com, J-A-V-A-F-X-P-E-R-T.com. There's an excellent blog that is created by the, and maintained by some of the JavaFX engineers, mm -hmm. Richard Baer, uh, Jasper Potts, and um, Jonathan Giles, mm -hmm. and it's called FX Experience, F-X-E-X-P-E-R-I-E-N-C-E.com. That's where you can really get the latest kind of news on a weekly basis and examples. That's a really good place to start. Um, obviously, uh, downloading uh, the JavaFX 2.0 mm -hmm. um, in uh, on Windows, it's available on Mac, it's available in uh, early access, and uh, or you know, kind of a developer preview kind of thing. And so, uh, getting your hands on that, actually trying out some of the samples, doing some development, would be a great place to get started. 
Great, and, and I also know personally that you've written a lot of articles for the Oracle Technology Network. I yes. want to thank you for that. So yeah. OTN, Java, there is a lot of technical content that you can take a look at. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. So I want to thank you, and yeah. um, it's good talking to you. Thank you for your time, yeah. and have a great show. Thank you, Tori. All right. This is Tori Wheel with the Oracle Technology Network.